She might tip the scales at 14,775 pounds, but this big, bad, beautiful North Point 377 RLBH here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan is perhaps the best generation of middle bunk bonus room North Point yet. Featuring things like the industry's best two plus three year full-time RV warranty, exclusive rights to use uh, Blackstone griddles, including the larger 22 inch variety, now featuring dual whisper air conditioning and a host of other updates and upgrades. It's the best generation of Jayco yet. Now, like most fifth wheels, when you're traveling down the road with all of the slides closed, of course the bedroom, very easy to access. This newly revised walk-in shower bathroom that they're doing all through North Point and Pinnacle right now. Yes, that is also easy to access. Gosh, that is cool. I am all about that. That is awesome. Things like our loft, very easy to get through. And this is all normal for middle bunks or bonus rooms or whatever you want to call them. You know, everyone has a different name for them. But where it gets tricky is when you get downstairs here, you've got opposing super slides and an island. So the question becomes, can I get to anything else? And it's a little tight right here, but even a big guy like me, even though my camera gear is getting hung up on stuff, you can still get through here. You can get through into this new carpetless slide system over here. I love that. Walk-in showers, carpet, I mean, wow. They have so many good things going on here. When they added the farmhouse decor to the North Points last year, I was like, oh, we are in for some good things. And then they just kept going. So <clears throat> if you need to in transit, you can get in here. You can fully open this fridge door. You can partially open this one, but I think it's enough. I can still reach in there. You know, for a travel stop, I could get what I needed to. Now, one other thing I want to show you here is inside of the uh, uh, freezer section of this 18 cubic foot two-way gas electric auto changeover refrigerator that we've optioned into this one, you have an ice maker. A lot of times, a lot of people state, well, I like the residential fridge because it has an ice maker and uh, a water tap. Well, I've got an ice maker and I've got a fresh water tap because this always has Jayco's fresh water drinking system and basically what this has done is it's given you the benefits of that uh, residential fridge, those, you know, uh, ice maker and water tap kind of uh, tertiary benefits, but still included it in something that has uh, a two-way power system, gas and electric, and uh, auto changeover. So in the event that you do happen to lose power, it will flip itself right back over. If you gain power, it'll flip itself right back. Now you just get the extra peace of mind. And all opened up. <laughs> Man, this one's a specimen. This is something else entirely. Shown today in their modern farmhouse decor. This is offered in two different decors, but this, this modern farmhouse gives it such a uh, just upscale residential kind of look and feel. I absolutely love it. I'm a huge fan. Now there's a lot to cover here, but I do want to circle back to one thing uh, that we kind of saw. I just want to make sure it gets its day in court. And that is the revision to a completely carpetless slide system. And I love how they're using the same flooring on the slide as they're using on the main floor. It's just slick, it's seamless, and it makes the whole RV look and feel so much larger. Now, uh, speaking of which, up top, making it look larger, there's cool little like uh, crown molding, kind of overslide accent lighting, not actually crown molding lighting, but... Um, you get the idea. Upper accent lighting to really brighten her up, lighten her up. Thing looks tremendous. Now, another revision, something you're not really seeing yet, but make note of this because you'll see it when we get to the bedroom. I mentioned this is now dual whisper air, standard. North Point's previously had a 15,000 BTU whisper air here in the living room, but not in the bedroom where you're sleeping three feet from the rumbly jumbly air conditioner. Well, no longer. Now, all of the air conditioners on all Eagles, North Points, and Pinnacles already were this way, are dual whisper. So you've got a 30,000 BTU dual whisper air system. That is an absolutely stellar quality. You'll find stuff like that on the uh, on a full Montana here at Halid RV as well. We have quite a few RVs to help you, you know, get through the night and enjoy a pleasant evening's sleep. Now notice too, 
the roof line here really doesn't taper down much. Look at how much space is above those slide fascias. That's one of those things that you can kind of use to help determine, uh, you know, truly how high end is the RV if they're willing to really extend it out like that. It's, it's a good indicator that you're looking at something pretty top shelf. Now over here, of course, we have our electric space heating fireplace. And above that, I love this symmetry of the view of that JBL sound system with those speakers on either side right there. Now in the kitchen, you're going to find uh, solid surface countertops, but in many other areas of the RV, you're going to find a sealed edge thermal foil counter. But what I love is how they gave it sort of like a natural edge kind of look, that, uh, that organic kind of jump and bump that it has in there. It just has a cool look to me. Now, Jacob also does a really neat thing with their entertainment center over here. You see how the uh, TV is there right now, but, um, you know, if we uh, take a look, you can see how that TV can kind of go away, and it reveals the fact that this thing has all of the windows in the world with those night roller blackout shades pulled out of the way. The whole thing is just viewing windows, including up through the hallway, and even in that main entry door, there actually is a pull-down shade in that for light or privacy, as you deem fit. You can do a little bit of both with uh, either of those. Now over here, there's they, they use a little bit larger sofa, which means a little bit smaller side stand, but I, I, I maintain that that side stand is still plenty enough to be able to like set drinks down. I don't think you need it any bigger, but I enjoy having the space of a, a, a larger three-seat kind of sofa. But what's nice is if we open this up and take a look, that also converts into a larger guest sleeping space. And that is another really cool thing about these middle bunk bonus room floor plans here, uh, that we have here at Halo RV. They typically feature more separate private sleeping spaces than any other model. We have this hide -a bed the loft, the uh, middle room, if you will, as well as the master bedroom. So you can have four completely separate sleeping zones, which is nice. Now you're gonna find North Point has become not something that just does the job, but takes it to a whole nother level. They have gotten very, very good. They've gotten very, very good. It, this is hands down easily the best North Point they've ever produced. Little handy features like this so that you're not wasting that storage space. And this is on both sides of the sofa. You'll find something like this in the master bedroom's dresser as well. All these little things, like every light has a switch. You don't have to go through and clickety-clack all these different lights, Jack. You know, it's, it's just it's so handy that way. Now, check out the height of this slide-out, actually. If I get over here, even a big person like me, I can straight stand in this thing on my tiptoes and never hit my head in there, despite, you know, shoes and hats and boots and pants and boots and pants and all that good stuff. Now, the sofa over here is... You're looking at it right now, it's just like a, a larger love seat. The ends of it do, uh, you know, it's a 110 powered uh, heat massage theater recliner with USB plugs and set into those little side uh, armrests. But if you hear the Legend of Zelda magic sound, secret sound, you can see it's got an extra large rollout console, very reminiscent of what they do in some toy haulers. But I think the fact that they scaled it down and refined it a little bit here is handy. Not to mention more power outlets over here, USB and household. So if you've got like a Surface Pro tablet or, or something like that, you know, you've got, you can sit here and keep that thing running or you can open it up and have a little bit of extra space. You know where my parents would love that? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Halet. They, they would have themselves in their two seats and they'd have one of the grandkids right between them and they would just be in hog heaven. That, that would be like their idea of a dream RV vacation right there, I think. So obviously we've got the windows just all over the place, but I want to take a look at the dining arrangement because it's very diesel pushery. Like you look at it right here, it's nice, it's clean. I love the minimalism of it, uh, but if we take a little bit more of a look, you can see there's dual fold away guest chairs. The table has an extension leaf, not to mention the fact that there is also a no knee knocker dining arrangement down here. So that again, those clumsy goofballs like me with the long gangly legs, you're not going to be gouging yourself up. And this is, I, I think, the area where the carpetless impacts it the most. Not only because it's the most visible, but just because of the fact that this is where you're going to do the majority of your dining. And getting the carpet out of there, I think, was probably one of the best decisions that they ever made. Um, I want to proactively address something. Whenever I record one of these big Jaco's or Montana's 
People always say, these idiots left the heat vents in the floor. How stupid are they? Well, there's a reason that they're doing this. And it, it's cool if this reason doesn't fit your style of camping. That's fine. There's benefits both ways. When you have ventless flooring, you are throwing away 37% of your heat flow. And many, many fifth wheels with ventless flooring, you'll see a, a, like a duct coming off the island. There is literally one four inch duct hole in the floor attempting to pump all of the heat through the entire living room cavity. This is a massive amount of cubic foot of space. That would be the equivalent of, of like using an ice chest to kind of like, you know, cool the living room area. Floor vented heating is far and away the most effective, efficient heating method out there. And it will keep this thing warmer, easier without burning your furnace at both ends. And it's cool if you don't like those reasons. It, that's fine. That doesn't make it a bad RV. Maybe it just means that we look for something else for you here at Halo RV, but that's why they do it. If you want a true cold camper, you, you really kind of need vents in the flooring. Um, the uh, other thing is for less than like eight bucks delivered to your house via Amazon Prime, there's little filter vent pads you can put down there to make the question of, yeah, but can't debris get down there an absolute non-issue. So if you give it a chance or if you ask us a question, chances are we've got solutions for you for most of these things. And starting right up top with a very common but popular and excellent feature, uh, the extra large Max Air style like rain sensoring vent fan up there. I love how it doubles not only as just a skylight, but obviously for the airflow it provides, especially when you're cooking if you want to exhaust that heat and humidity. And have you noticed all the LED kind of backlight accent lighting? You've got lighting above that almost kind of floating ethereal looking uh, ceiling fixture above the slides, even just below the countertop line as we work our way down here. Now, uh, the trick with a lot of, you know, middle bunk bonus rooms is their kitchens are often very lacking. And I think that's one of the reasons that the North Point 377 here at Halo RV is immensely popular because its kitchen is anything but lacking. It kind of starts, I guess, over here with the entertainment center. Um, the uh, pocket screw cabinets were here, hardwood cabinet doors, you can see the hidden hinges, and the metallic struts for the overhead doors to make sure that those doors aren't flopping down on you. Now, as long as we are looking at the entertainment, it does kind of uh, bear mentioning that Jayco's really cool about like running easy access wiring, so if you do have like a satellite or something like that uh, system that you want to install here, it's very, very easy to do. Now, built right into the slide is our floor to ceiling pantry space, and even that has like uh, an accent light inset into it so you can see what you're doing. But as we come over here past this convection microwave oven, I mean, just every little nook and cranny. I love how even the, the door over the microwave is strutted to hold itself open. That is a detail many, many brands will leave out. And then this very home style four burner uh, insignia stove oven combo over here. Uh, this is something that previously was in Pinnacle only, and it has recently been introduced also into North Point. And you are just watching so many different fifth wheel brands copy what Jayco's been doing here. Larger oven, you know, if you're going to spend time full timing in an RV, which is having a full time RV warranty, there's a good likelihood that you might. Uh, I, I think that that's a fixture you would really enjoy. You know, maybe on a little bunkhouse or tiny couple's travel trailer, the oven's not as important. I think in a big guy like this, it could be. But the island is one of the areas that has seen significant improvements compared to the previous generation. Because, if we're being honest, sitting here right now, our prep space is a little bit limited. But leave it to Jayco to find a solution. Because chippity chop, we got a butcher block. Check this thing out. So, it's completely removable. You can store it like under the bed or in any number of places, really. Um, but it's a huge additional storage space. And normally I would say, boy, it'd be perfect to just put like a wastebasket under there. But once again, they have that detail covered. And another nice little touch over here is they have added this kind of slide out little tray box thing below the sink so that you can uh, more easily get to whether it's your dish soaps or hand washes or whatever you got down there. All of this thing here is storage space. Now, we talked about this briefly earlier, but the drinking water system on these, basically, this RV has uh, kind of like a five gallon, sort of looks like a Culligan jug um, that uh, you can hook up to it, and it has a separate 12 volt pump. So you have your normal fresh water holding tank, 
but then you have a separate like uh freshwater drinking uh supply so that you don't have to eat up a bunch of cargo space with bottles of water so you always have that available you know whether you're boondocking in the park whatever it's just another nice little touch now i've heard rumor that some people have done some silly things with that like hook it up to some sort of um, adult beverage of their choice to have on tap or supply. But here in the Midwest, uh, the most popular use for it would most certainly be a dispenser for Hidden Valley Ranch. And in case you were wondering, here's kind of the behind the scenes look at how this works. In a sense, it's basically just like a drawer that pulls out, but it acts, it, it, it's a support runner for that big, bad butcher block system. So once again, if maybe, I've had some people say, I don't know, I don't like the color of that thing. Well, remember, it's only a temporary fixture. It's a food grade cutting board like you'd have in your living room area, and it's removable. It doesn't have to be there. Now let's take a look at kind of the whole focal point of the floor plan. What's funny is middle bunk bonus rooms, you know, they're named because of this middle room, but to focus them is really the living room because it gives you the ability to have a larger living space that traditionally something you might call a bunkhouse just can't match. Now. North Point is the one that does everything. Like, you've got the sleeper sofa below with the bonus fold-up bunk above. This thing becomes just an absolute monster of an office space. Uh, you could use one of those fold-out guest chairs uh, that we currently have stored under the bed that you saw around the dining table over here. This could be, uh, that could be like a, a work camping monitor station. It could just be a second living room. Um, there are times, like, my wife really likes things like, you know, the Academy Award shows and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I, I don't get into that, but I watch, like, dumb cartoons that my 10-year-old humor still enjoys that my wife doesn't. So this room kind of gives us the ability for both of us to have our own little slice of space. But, it, it's got, buddy, it's got storage in here. These are adjustable, removable shelves, and you can see how there's a hanging rod in there. Now, what's weird well, not weird, cool, different, interesting, is, ta-da! This is actually uh, a, a two-way kind of storage solution. You could use it with the shelving, like, uh, you know, an overflow pantry space, depending on how you're going to use this RV. You could use it like an entry coat closet. You could use it for hanging closet storage for a guest or kids or whoever. The only thing it's good for is everything, really. And what's also awesome... This is, if you notice up here, it's a completely separate entertainment system from what you find in the living room. It has its own Bluetooth DVD system with HDMI wiring and all the extra plugs and it's separate satellite ready and all kinds of stuff here. It just does everything. I love this very office friendly kind of sectionalized drawer space that we have here as well. Not to mention the drawers to the floor here in front of more drawers. And all of that storage really allows this RV to be used in a variety of ways. Frankly, kind of simultaneously, if you need it for a daytime office and then a nighttime, you know, guest grandkid sleeper, you can do that. Now, what's also cool is they include both the sleeper sofa and the additional folding bunk to really maximize the space. And that's a 300 pound rated bed up there, by the way. And this, I think, is one of the coolest aspects of this floor plan is just all the variant sleeping space and capacity where, you know, let's say that you two have, say, adult kids and they want to bring the grandkids along. Well, naturally, you want to see your whole family. This is an RV that can allow for trips like that to build those memories and you never really outgrow it. You know, as, as your usage changes, all you have to do is just fold this stuff away and repurpose it. Case in point, all the little different things you can do with this room, we're still not done with. We're still finding, like, there's a neat little dining table that you can flip out here. You know, it could be a cool little nacho station if you're using this as like a game day kind of room and leaving the living room open. It's just, again, the only thing this room does is everything. But it doesn't have to do any of it. If you only need it for one or two functions out of the, what, five or whatever, just use it for those. No big deal. Now, I, I think when we're talking about sleeping space, it's, it's a good time to talk about what I call stealth mode camping. I've turned all the direct lighting off, and all we are looking at right now is just the indirect lighting, like above the slides, below the countertop. And this is 
awesome when it's late at night when it's movie night if you've got a kiddo who you know you know that guy who lives under your sheets has the razor sharp teeth and if your feet hang off the bed he's gonna get you and his 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 fangs can rend flesh from bone but he can't penetrate the bed sheets well this is just enough lighting to keep that guy away Jayco did the testing basically is what it boils down to <coughs> but my point is when it's late at night, when it's early morning, sorry, I get off on my tangents. This is enough lighting to be able to see around, navigate, and you can use just the uppers or just the lowers. Like there, you can, you don't have to use all of it together, but it's still plenty enough to be able to navigate without being blinded by everything, as the song goes. Stepping back and stepping out of that room, just to give you a, a quick point of reference and bead here. Moving forward past that awesome carpetless slide system, we come to our entryway and that pass-through combo closet over here. So obviously, once again, these shelves can be removed, but above this, this is what I wanna look at. You got a neat little like hat and glove storage space over here, but this is our command center as well, and it's nicely hidden away. When the screen's not lit, you really can't see in here, so the kiddos are less inclined to get in here. And this touchscreen system can do like anything you want it to do. You can operate your leveling here, your heating controls, you can check your, your water heater, your water pump, and anything you can control off this, you can control off your phone if you sync them together. But what I like is that you don't have to do this. If you're just like, no, I just want to walk over and I just want to turn the lights off and on. We can do all of that right here. If you just want to extend an awning or a slide, you can do all of that stuff right here without having to do all the digital things. And I, I, I personally really feel that the BM Pro system is like the best smart command system in the RV industry today. It's actually something that was developed um, from their sister company, Jayco Australia. And that doesn't necessarily organically make it better. It's just that it was proven, it works, and they just adapted it to North American tech and electrical systems. Down here, simple, smart, tiny little updates. Like on the left, we have our central vacuum hookups. On the right, we have our electric dustpan where you can flip that little lever up with your toe and just kind of sweep everything from your carpetless living space in there. Plus, handy tiny little shoe garage. Just keep a couple shoes out of the way and help cut the clutter. Motion sense lighting on the stairs right there, as you can see, where as you approach it, more of that stealth mode lighting kind of camping comes into play. Just as we get near it, it'll kick on and help you kind of see so that you don't fall down and bust yourself up. Now notice the position of the ladder for the loft. And, <laughs> oops, I knew I'd do that. I knew I'd do that. This is that giant cutting board from the kitchen. I just slid it out of the way real quick instead of putting it back where it actually belongs. So in a sense, we're doing a good demonstration of how you can use this upper loft space as more than just sleeping. You could use it for storage, especially if you just take the mattress out of here. Although Jake always uses like double the thickness of mattresses as everybody else. But this is sleeping, this is storage. But what I was getting at is the ladder is over here at the top of the stairs. It's not over there where it's a nine foot drop where your kiddo falls on their head or something. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. I was at, I'm almost going to throw up thinking about it. I was at Walmart and I, I saw a kid standing in the cart and his brother pulled the cart and the kid fell over and spiked his head on the ground. It was the grossest sound I've ever heard. Thankfully, the kid was okay. But I, I became very aware of things like that ever since. And back on a positive note, oh, sorry, TV hookups up here in the loft area as well. Woohoo! Moving forward into our bathroom, we saw it briefly earlier, this beautiful walk-in shower. Previously, this was only found in the larger pinnacles, and now it's every North Point and pinnacle out there, basically. And this bathroom is large, awesome storage space. It's amazing how many brands will give you a cabinet like this, with, but like with one big door, and there's no shelf space in between, so it's a big worthless space. Obviously, man, they, they packed it up. And that smaller shelf right there is, like, perfect for your toilet papery kind of things. Notice, too, over here, you've got this folding teak seat. So if you need a big, spacious uh, shower to stand up and clean yourself, you got it. If you need or prefer to bathe or sit to shave your legs or something, well, this can do all of that, too. Height adjustable shower hardware in here as well, and I love the color pattern in this shower enclosure. This, I mean, that's, <laughs> that is awesome. Another big vent fan up in here, giving us some superior airflow, and that floating style mirror right there, that's something that I've always enjoyed in these. Um, down below that, more of that sealed edge countertop kind of space right here, 
and you can see that stainless sink inset. But those lower accent lights, remember how we saw those? That lower accent light also activates the lights below the dresser and the, the sink in the bathroom. So you, even upstairs here, can easily see if one of the kiddos got up and flipped the light on to go to the bathroom, or maybe you just need to see to get to the bathroom. Bedroom in this, it's easy to overlook the changes they made, but they're important. First of all, you know what you don't see? The air conditioner. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't see the square, then you won't hear the air. It's basically just that simple. Jayco's uh, using uh, the, the Colon Mac air systems on these with whisper baffling systems. It is exceptionally quiet up here. And with the uh, roughly six, four, five inch sidewall in the upper deck plus the vault. Headroom in the bedroom is not an issue. The vaulted ceilings in here. This is one of the, the, the most tall, person-friendly luxury fifth wheels I think you're really, really going to find out there. Now, additionally, uh, there's a lot of brands that are like LTE and Wi-Fi ready. Well, Jayco went ahead and just included the, the box for you. So you don't have to go visit the parts department. You don't have to try to look up and research and learn about this. They've done it for you. But over here, there were recently some changes to RVIA code which allowed a larger square footage of space to exist within a fifth wheel. Jayco is now using bigger, deeper bedroom slides in these big luxury fifth wheels wherever they can than they ever used before. And what this basically creates for us is a, a larger sense of space. Sorry, I gotta fix that. It is driving me nuts. You can see how they have the Cyclops window above and there is a, a roller nightshade for that as well. But what I really wanna look at is over here in the slide box. You can see how they've got handy little corner shelf in that upper area and then you might have seen these little control panels throughout the rv each one of those does a different thing depending on where it's mounted like the one in here um, can turn on your campsite security lights on the door side of the rv it can activate hallway lights it can turn on on and off our bedroom lights or our reading lights so they're 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 context sensitive if you will we are looking at the 70 by 80 king bed upgrade and with that deeper bed slide, you now have more room in here than ever before. You have tons of room. You can get dressed and walk past your partner. I love little things like that. I love the look, uh, the, the partitioning on those sliding mirror doors. But real quick, I also want to mention there's this uh, really, really slick um, like laundry hamper thing built into the cabinet over here. And it's, it's just smart little details like that. Give me a place to put yesterday's clothes today, now that you know it's it's a day past. And I really wanted to take a second to close that all up because just the, the visual aesthetic of those doors, almost an Eastern inspired, uh, you know, partition line system on those, I love that. So we're basically laying in the bed. Technically you're in bed with Uncle Josh the RV nerd, which nothing much to write home about, but you get the idea. The TV is going to be standard up here and it is angle mounted down. So even in the bedroom, we're enjoying a no-neck wrecker entertainment center. You have direct view entertainment in the bedroom, in the middle bonus room thing, and in the living room. There's just never, never a bad seat in the house. Now over here, you know, we've seen the accent lighting, we've seen the dresser, but there's a couple more little hidden nuggets in this thing that we haven't seen still. But it doesn't end there. In addition to the good dresser space, Notice the kind of hidden little jewelry chest or valuable shelf right here. The top of that dresser flips up now, different from previous generations. Neat little kind of hidden storage pocket. And that does make it a little more obvious again that we do have some handy outlets over here, both 12 volt and 110. Now naturally being a big luxury fifth wheel that it is, North Point is stackable, washer, dryer capable inside of that just enormous walk-in closet but look at the little details once again really made for the end user not only does it have like two layers of hanging storage but there's an extra large center support in there to make sure that you don't ever overload those rods not to mention all the storage shelving they ran all the way up through the nose cap but what's <laughs> when you flip the bed up by the way even with the dresser drawers open it's obvious how that newly deepened uh, bed slide really opens up the bedroom in here. And with full underbed storage, you can really pack this sucker down. 
There's, uh, you know, we've got our chairs in here. There's boxes of goodies, our power cord, uh, the central vacuum components, and they can all stay in there and this thing can close completely unimpeded. And before we hop outside, a quick look at these. I, I was talking about this briefly, but like you can see how that one can activate or deactivate a lot of different lights. Because when you're laying in bed, logically that's the most common thing you're going to be doing. But you can see like right over here, there's a different one of these panels. And there's like one in the living room, one in the kitchen. They all do a little bit different stuff. But just to kind of show you how they are all a little different, we can activate, deactivate the bedroom lighting and the hallway lighting. But we can also open and close this slide right here. So once again, you don't have to do everything from a digital touchpad. And why I like the slide buttons right here is I can stand here and I can visibly line of sight this slide out to ensure that I didn't forget anything, that it can close completely unimpeded, which not every RV gives you the chance to make sure you're not going to bust an expensive slide system like that. I love an ounce of prevention worth a pound of cure. Now, as we step outside, I want to draw your attention to that extra, extra large folding entry handle right there. So if you're a big clumsy ox like me, you're going to be less inclined to take a tumble, as they say across the pond. But also, of course, the zero-G Moride Stable Step system here, something that North Point's been using basically as soon as they could. Where a lot of other brands were still using the gravity drop system on these big heavy four-steppers, they said, no, no, we're going to use the one that makes it so that if you have a, you know, blown out rotator cuff in your shoulder, or something like that uh, you know you're not gonna hurt yourself or drop it on your kid your dog your whatever I love how the speakers outside are uh, mounted down here like at picnic level so they're not gonna blow the neighbor away you see the leveling jack right there this does have six point hydraulic auto leveling and then once again over here in the belly of this beast <laughs> you've got a larger fridge which this fridge plus the fridge inside gives us well over 20 cubic foot of cold storage. And having the bigger fridge out here for the barley pop and bottled water, uh, very, very handy to avoid tracking dirt through the RV. And I think it's probably going to be a pretty popular barley pop dispenser by virtue of the fact that on the bottom left of that 22 inch black stone griddle, you've got the barley popinator 37,000 series emblazoned with the, uh, the Jaybird right there. But what's nice about this is it can just slide out of the way if you don't need it here, it doesn't have to be here. Um, over here in our huge drop frame, this has a 12 inch chassis, drops down to a 10 inch, which is pretty normal in giant luxury fifth wheels. But I do want to give you a quick tour. We've got our TV hookups. We've kind of already peeked a few times at the, uh, the kind of the source and supply for the freshwater drinking system on these. You'll find that on Eagle, North Point, Pinnacle, Talon, and Seismic uh, RVs, including Eagle travel trailers, the full Eagles, which is nice. Now take a look up here at the upper deck. Why am I looking at this? Not so that you can see plumbing, although they do a very clean job. Their execution's always very cleanly. Um, but the double-sided, like, silver bubble foil radiant barrier that you have here, it runs all the way through the upper deck above the pin box where a lot of manufacturers sometimes miss it. And then up the nose, around the roof, uh, you know, double layer in the belly. They, they nail it, man. And not to mention you can see a forced air heat duct for this pass-through compartment. So the, uh, the cavity below this, in the, in the under underbelly, that's enclosed, insulated, heated, protected. Your, uh, your docking station that we'll see over there in that corner, enclosed, heated, insulated, protected. Then you have another layer between, you know, the bathroom, the bedroom, the cavity, the, uh, the cabin, rather, everything. That is one of the reasons that Jayco's have among the very best hot, cold camp uh, proven ratings out there. Motion sense lighting, because, you know, on both sides of the RV also, and there's household outlets on both sides of the pass-through, because you're going to use both sides of the pass-through. But it's easy for a brand to only do stuff over here. People tend to look at this side of the RV when they're shopping, not the other side. And they're both important. And that's obviously our central vacuum system right there. And notice how they're not putting carpeting down on this floor. It's the same like flooring material that you'd find in a seismic luxury fifth wheel toy hauler, which also now shares the two plus three full timing RV warranty of this North Point right here. Camera's having a little trouble, there we go. But that's another cool note. Um, if you are thinking full-time, Jayco is a brand that gives you more options now than anybody else. All Eagles, including all Eagles travel trailers, even HTs, North Points, Pinnacles, Talons, Seismics. They have more full-time warranted RVs out there, all of which feature their best-in-class 2 plus 3 year warranty, matched by, really, nobody else. So uh, there's, there's no question about it. 
Uh, Jayco does have the most comprehensive warranty coverage out there. That being said, there's plenty of other very good products. We carry lots of different things here, and I do believe they all bring different advantages to the table. That sun behind us not being super friendly, but wanted to give you a good look at that just sweet looking nose cap. Now, this has their five star handling package, which starts with the Moride shock dampening pin box, goes into the Moride suspension. They have, uh, We'll see them in a minute, but wet bolt fasteners on their suspension system. There's, there's, I guess, well, obviously as the name implies, five stars. Five points that kind of lead to that whole uh, nice ride and handling package. Now, what we're looking at here is the optional generator prep on a North Point. And I really want to take some time to explain this. Now, also keep in mind, not every single North Point that we have at Halid RV, including other 377s, will always feature this. This is something that we put on some of them, but not all of them. There's a reason for it. Not everybody cares about a generator, and generators are uh, the generator prep on a North Point is the most expensive generator prep in its class. But there's a reason for it. On the opposite side of the RV is a single 40 pound propane tank. Then over here, there are two more 40 pound propane tanks. Standard, this RV would have two 30 pound tanks. The generator prep doesn't just prep the RV for a generator, it upgrades you to three 40 pound propane tanks. The generator prep option on a North Point or Pinnacle will double your propane capacity from 60 to 120 total pounds. Now, it's not as easy because you uh, to just exchange a 40 pound bottle. You definitely have to find a place that can fill them. But when you have 120 pounds of it available, chances are you have plenty of reserve time to be able to accomplish that. Over here next to our 10 gallon vessel, fast recharge uh, gas and electric water heater, which basically means around 22 gallons of hot water per hour. We have our docking station over here. Now what's nice is this door can totally key lock with a different lock than pretty much everybody else has. So there's already organic security built in. And I like how our auto leveling controls are located over here on this side of the RV. It blows me away how many manufacturers will put the auto leveling panel over there. It doesn't make sense to me. You're most likely going to use it over here. Typically, the driver is the one operating that. Not to mention, this is our hookup station. You want to be over here, hit the auto leveling button, and then, you know, start working on your, your hoses and stuff. But inside this, you can see more motion lighting. This is a combination kind of like outside shower. It includes its own little blue coily hose and sprayer handle and all that good stuff. And this kind of looks intimidating at first, but if you look, it tells you, hey, do you want to sanitize? Do you want to dry camp? Here, flip these color you know, levers this way. And it's actually extremely simple to use. If an idiot like me can do it, folks, I have faith in you. <laughs> now, down below here, you won't be able to see much because North Point is one of the few fifth wheels still fully skirting their RVs so that there is no gap between the I-beam and the sidewall above the outriggers. And it is, like I said, enclosed, heated, insulated, radiant, barriered, uh, all the good things helping them achieve their hot cold camp proven tested rating. And here is yet another best in class quality, these monstrously large Goodyear Endurance Beast Radials. North American made, and uh, they are the only American sourced tire used in the towable RV industry today. They are rated for up to 87 miles per hour, but only require 80 PSI. Maybe that doesn't mean much to you, but if you have to just stop at a gas station for air, you can do that. Now, I'm not really at a good angle here, uh, but that you can see that Morai's CRE 3000 rubber shock dampening equalizer in there. What you're not seeing are the brass fittings on it, the wet bolt fasteners, which means basically it has a grease zerk for easy upkeep maintenance, things like that. It is uh, one of the best suspension systems out there. I, I think if I was looking at an RV, it's not a make or break thing for me, but it's definitely a factor I would like to consider. You can obviously see too, we've added the uh, slide awnings to this big bad North Point right here. It's something that sometimes we do, again, sometimes we don't. It sort of depends on the equipment trim package on the one that we're bringing in here, kind of like the generator prep. Remember that this video is just kind of an idea of what we might have here, not necessarily a guarantee, but I'm really glad that we got one all loaded up like this so you could really learn about it. Now, not only is it backup camera ready, it's also side view camera ready because those front clearance marker lights up by the nose have side view camera mounts. This also has J Smart Lighting, which stands for Signals, Markers, and Reverse Travel. And basically what that means is, let's say you flip on your right hand turn signal. 
all of the clearance lights on the right side of the RV will blink along with your turn signal. So more than just your tail light on this very large fifth wheel will start blinking so that other people have a clue what you're doing on the road. Now, Jayco, they're pretty smart folks, and they made sure to run separate wires for their side view camera mount and the marker light. So when the marker light blinks in and out, it's not going to cause the camera to blink in and out just so we can kind of proactively answer that one. Um, now the RT of the smart lighting, reverse travel, is the uh, little uh, white LED element inside the taillights. And it doesn't do justice just to look at them. If you ever get a chance to see one of these things lit up when it's dark, which unfortunately is not during business hours at Halo RV typically, they're bright, man. They really shine some light. So if you are using a backup camera or just your handy spotter, you're gonna be good. Now an interesting thing on North Points, standard, they have absolutely nothing coming off the tail. We have optioned on the receiver hitch back here so that if you do want to add things like a bike rack to this big family mover, you're going to be good to go there. Now there's already uh, obviously grill connects for that Blackstone griddle, but there is an additional gas grill quick connect under here under the skirt. And that's a standard thing on North Point. They always run something like that back to the bumper unless the floor plan specifically prevents it. You can see just the panoramic window views going all around this thing. We've got the dual power awnings, which you can control via the BM Pro system on your phone. The awning lighting, all that stuff you can manipulate here. And actually, let me slide up just so you can see that side view camera mount because a lot of brands are doing this now, but it's not necessarily like common knowledge yet. And I don't want to just like gloss over it. I don't, you know, maybe this is the first time you've ever looked at a big fifth wheel. Maybe you want to see what I'm talking about. Now, obviously it's not much to look at, but hey, now you know. And like I learned watching G.I. Joe in the 80s, knowing is half the battle. Now, one of the biggest hiccups with any Jayco is that so much of their value is hidden. They do a lot more than a lot of manufacturers where you're not looking. And that's what makes this industry really murky, dirty, muddy sometimes, because a manufacturer could make an RV that looks just like this but they could skimp on some roof stuff that Jayco's doing and save a chunk of money. But that's just not what Jayco does. That's one of the reasons we really love and respect them here at Halet RV. I tend to camp in a Jayco myself most of the time if that gives you an idea of my level of confidence. Despite the fact that we have pff, hundreds of different options here, I tend to camp in a Jayco most of the time. Um, and there's reasons for it. Like for instance, this, this is the, not just the Magnum Truss roof system, this is a Magnum Truss XL6 roof system. And I think you have to say it that way or else like uh, the Amish Mafia hunts you down. I don't know, I gotta look into that. Anyway, my, my point here is that this roof structure is rated for more weight, more load bearing than anybody else in this class. Anybody else remotely close to this class by about 50% roughly. One of the key differences here is that we're actually walking on plywood roof decking instead of OSB that almost everybody else uses. And OSB roof decking is fine. There's just a difference between good and better. And better is kind of the Jayco way, basically. Now, these are always going to be roof solar prepped. And in point of fact, there actually is a uh, the Overlander 190 watt roof solar option, which will give you, as the name implies, 190 watt roof package and the charge controller associated with it, which is about enough to pretty much run all the 12 volt you feel like using on a general day. Uh, but you know, that's the kind of stuff that we can install for you here at Halo RV2 VR Parts and Service Center. Now, uh, the air conditioners on these are always going to be 15,000 BTU. They are both standard 15,000 BTU. They are both standard whisper ducted. And that is a huge difference versus the uh, pretender luxury brands that say they have a, a quiet cooling air. If it's not whisper ducted like these Jayco's, like I'm looking at this beautiful Coleman Mac here, or Mac, and that's, that's awesome. But if they don't have the baffling system that the Jayco's have, it is going to be louder. Now maybe the volume doesn't bother you, but if you're sensitive to something like that, especially right here where you're, you know, three feet below you is the bed, it is very, very nice to have that baffling system. And I tell you, having been in a lot of different RVs, some with it run, uh, it whisper air, some without, it is incredible the amount of noise dampening that it does create. Also, you saw inside the uh, Wineguard 
like a signal access uh, point there, basically LTE potential Wi-Fi system. And this is kind of what it hooks into. So this is actually our TV antenna under this neat little bucket job right here. Effectively, it's 360 degree kind of reception. So you don't have to really crank it around. You don't got to worry being up and down. It's, you know, not the tallest point of the RV or anything like that. So uh, instead of having to go aftermarket to add that Wi-Fi LTE adapter job, it's just standard on your Jayco luxury fifth wheels. And it's those kind of things, you know, where the others don't, Jayco does. And that's that's just Jayco doing Jayco things anymore. Their their whole motto is anything you can do, I can do better from the manufacturing standpoint. It does mean that they're not the lightest weight. It might mean that they are a couple bucks more, but if you really compare what you get out there, I think you'll see why North Point is among the fastest growing luxury fifth wheels on the market today. So if that sounds good. Give us a call because a Halo RV we do it all. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping to my RV nerd nation, everyone.